What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to give you my top five supplements that I use to go from fat to fit. I use these all the time. These are my go-tos. I'm simply making this video to help you all make better decisions. I don't want you spending all your life savings in GNC. I don't want you guys out there buying supplements thinking that you're magically gonna look like those bodybuilders that we see on magazines. Look, no supplement in GNC is gonna help you reach that level. But I will say that supplements will help you be a better version of yourself. So again, the supplements that I'm gonna give you today are simply the ones that I always use and I always transform my body at least three to four times a year. I competed in numerous bodybuilding men's physique competitions, received over three first place trophies and even placed top 10 at nationals. So that's just to say, I know a little bit of what I'm talking about. I want you all to make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I have a gift for you guys, but you gotta make it to the end. If you are new here, I want you to subscribe to the channel Hit the bell so you can turn your notifications on so you will be notified every time I upload a video. And while you're at it, go ahead and like this video. I know you'll probably forget once the knowledge gets flowing. So without further ado, let's get to it. The first supplement we have, protein powder. Protein powder for me is one of my go-tos. If I don't have any other supplements, I'm going to make sure I have protein powder. I would recommend that you focus on a good brand, but if you don't have the means for it, the cheaper brands will do. Now, if you don't know already, we need our protein in order to build muscle, protein synthesis. So it's not always mandatory, but I will recommend that you consume a healthy dosage of protein powder post-workout. It's fast digesting and it's going to get right to your muscles. If you're at home, I will say you might receive better gains if you mix it with milk. But because I'm lactose intolerant, I always mix my protein powder with water only. Protein powder is convenient. 25 to 50 grams of protein in one to two scoops. You can get it in wherever you are at. And for a lot of you out there trying to consume a ton of protein from food, it's not happening. You need at least two protein shakes a day in order to make sure you reach your macronutrient needs. Now, what I don't want you to do is overconsume the protein powder. And that's simply because we don't want to jack up our kidneys. We don't want to mess up our livers. So if you make sure that you only stick to at least one to two protein shakes a day, you should be good to go. So protein for me is at the top of my list as rated number one. Because without protein powder, I'll be eating a whole bunch of tuna, chicken, eggs, and let's keep it real. No one wants to be consuming that much food. All right, number two, BCAAs, branched chain amino acids. Now, there's three main amino acids that you will see in a lot of BCAAs or that you'll see talked about all over the media. You have leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Now, I'm not gonna complicate this video and give you the background on each one, but just know there are three main. Now, we can get these amino acids in our foods, mainly your meats, mainly your eggs, but like I spoke about before, no one wants to be consuming that much food. So that's where the BCAA supplement comes into play. Now, over time, these BCAAs will promote protein synthesis and help you with muscle growth. But my main purpose for using BCAAs is simply to avoid fatigue when I'm working out. BCAAs like the one I have right here are good for hydration, to keep me hydrated. That's key on any fitness journey that you embark on. You need to make sure you're staying hydrated. A dehydrated body is an unhealthy body, an unfit body. These BCAAs right here also help with recovery. So again, my main purpose for even consuming BCAAs on a daily basis is simply for the fatigue, the recovery, and for this one right here, it's all about hydration. And if I didn't say it before, I drink BCAAs throughout all of my workouts. All right, moving down the line, creatine. Now, if you didn't know, creatine is actually a molecule that we produce in our bodies naturally. But let's face it, that's just not enough for our fitness needs. A lot of folks out there also don't realize that creatine draws water into your muscles. People confuse that with water weight. So they say, hey, I'm not taking creatine because I don't want to hold on to water weight. I'm trying to get lean. I'm trying to get fit. But let's be real. That water that you're getting from creatine has nothing to do with your belly fat, your thigh fat, your feet swelling. Look, that comes from the food. You need to stop eating that crap and stop being fat. You need to stop eating that crap and stop being fat. This creatine right here is to help make sure your muscles stay full. Again, it's drawing water and keeping the water in your muscles. So creatine for me is all the time need. Now there's some times where I don't take creatine, which is when my goals aren't in the right place, when I'm just relaxing on my fitness and not really trying to reach that next level. But when I'm on point, when I'm ready, when I'm trying to get dialed in, I'm going to creatine. Now, there are some creatine non-responders. What that means is there's some folks out there who cannot receive the benefits that creatine has for them. So a good way to figure out if that's you is to take creatine for a week and continuously watch the scale. 
If you gain weight over a course of a week, creatine is working because creatine will have you gaining weight. But again, it's not the weight that's bad. But in order for this to work, you obviously have to make sure that your diet is always on point. I can't stress that enough. If you are eating like crap, no supplement is gonna help you get fit. Oh yeah, you need to make sure you're staying hydrated when taking this supplement. Make sure you're drinking lots of water. If you don't, you probably will be nauseous. You'll probably have diarrhea. Not to scare you or anything, just make sure you're drinking water. But let's be honest, if you're really serious about your fitness, you're probably drinking a gallon plus a day. All right, hopefully you guys are still with me. We have ran through three of the greatest supplements of all time. If you are still here, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell, like this video while we're at it. We have two more supplements. And don't forget, stick to the end for the gift. Next up, pre-workout. Now this pre-workout that I have is actually a special pre-workout because not only does it help me with my endurance and my focus, but it actually has some nice cutting formulas in here that are gonna help me get super shredded. This is the explosive pre-workout right here. But all in all, pre-workouts contain caffeine. So caffeine is what we need when we want that energy boost. Caffeine is what we need when we wanna be stronger. Think about a cup of coffee. When you wake up out of bed, you're probably dragging, moseying around the house. But once you get that cup of coffee, that delicious coffee, now you suddenly have a whole bunch of energy. You start moving way better than you did before. That's the energy boost I'm talking about. That's the strength I'm talking about. If we have more energy, we're liable to lift more weights in the gym, lift heavier weights, or just do more reps. We're liable to keep going through the workout. No one wants to work out tired. Now for me, I work all day. So after a long work day, the last thing I wanna do is drag around in the workout. So that's why I need this energy boost right here to give me that kick I need. Now what I have seen people do before is they get so tolerant of their pre-work workout that they take more and more and more. I will not recommend that. What I would recommend is that you just scale back on the pre-workout. Take maybe one or two weeks off. Being tolerant to caffeine is a thing. So if you're continuously taking it day after day after day, you will get tolerant of it. So again, you need to back up off of the pre-workout, let your body wing off of it. And then after that two weeks, get right back to it. All right, last and final supplement, energy drinks. Now, I'm not just talking about any old energy drinks. I'm not talking about Red Bull. I'm not talking about Monster. I'm talking about fitness made energy drinks. Energy drinks that are geared towards your fitness needs. For the same benefits that you receive from a pre-workout, you will get from a nice fitness based energy drink. What makes this energy drink better for me is the fact that it is zero sugar, zero calories. So when I'm cutting, when I'm dropping down, cutting the weight, trying to get shredded and lean, I avoid as much sugar as I can. So some of these supplements that you saw before, Hold some sugar, let's face it. This energy drink right here, no sugar at all. So when I take in this energy drink, and I don't have to drink the whole thing for it to work, but when I take it, my focus is there. The energy is there, my energy just got boosted. So that's the only reason for energy drinks. There's no magic to them, it's all caffeine, and it tastes good. All right, YouTube, that's all I have for you today. My top five supplements, my go-to supplements that I use every single day in order for me to reach my goal. Again, I'm taking my body from fat to fit and I'm doing it at a good pace. Now, there's a lot of supplements that I didn't speak about, which are vitamins. Yes, vitamins are supplements. So I will cover my vitamins in another video. But in order for that to work, you have to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Vitamins are crucial and I don't want you to miss that. Again, all 2021, this channel right here is gonna help you take your results from here to here. It's mandatory. And it all starts with changing a few things from our diets, our supplements, our training, and just being better. All right, the video is over and here's the gift. I need you to comment these words down in the comment section. I subscribed and I followed at X Factor underscore fitness on Instagram. So you must do those two things. You have to subscribe, you have to follow me on Instagram, and you have to comment. I subscribed and I followed at X Factor underscore fitness on Instagram. Once you do that, I will randomly choose a winner and I'm sending you a supplement. And yes, I'm going to check, come on now. And also, if I didn't say it before, the link is down below. Use my code and you get a nice 20% off on any of these C4 supplements. And with that being said, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me and I'll catch you in the next one. Before you go, I wanna encourage you to do a few things. Download the free X Factor Fitness app where you will have access to tons of workouts, exercises, and more. Follow me on Instagram where you have access to workouts and motivation daily. Also, check out some of my old videos. Lots of playlists just for you. And never forget, subscribe for more.